This is a tough story, but you need to hear it. Imagine a 15-year-old Iranian girl named Fatameh. She's smart, and she dreams of starting her own business. Fatameh wakes up for a run before school. She tries to fill up her water bottle, but this is the water that comes out. Fatameh starts her run, and she wants to feel the wind in her hair. But when she removes her head covering, religious police threaten to beat her. Fatameh gets ready for school. But the headmaster of the Hadaf Girls School, where she goes, tells her that her school is closed. You see, there's too much air pollution. Thousands have died from smog in Tehran. Fatameh walks to Harandi Park to clear her head. But the park is filled with drug dealers. She stops at her favorite bakery in Aladin Mall to eat cake yazdi. But there's a nationwide strike. Fatameh walks past the Parmis high-rise building, and she sees the 20th floor engulfed in flames. Firefighters haven't been able to extinguish the flames for days because they lack the money for proper equipment. Fatameh is completely exasperated. Why is everything in my country falling apart, she asks. She wants to voice her concerns on social media, but the regime bans Facebook and Twitter. They're terrified that Fatameh might get access to information that they don't control. Fatameh needs to relax, so she turns on the TV. The electricity collapses. What are our leaders doing with all our money, Fatameh asks in, in despair. She opens the Vatane Imru's newspaper, and she finds out. Billions wasted moving Iran's army to Syria. Billions wasted trying to get nuclear weapons. Billions wasted on war in Yemen. Fatameh may be an imaginary name, but her story is the real story of millions of Iranians. If you want peace, help Fatameh. Help the people of Iran to raise their voice against a regime that oppresses them and denies them a life of dignity, prosperity, and respect.